Now I've got a title on there. I'm going to put in some music before I finish off. Briefly explain audio. Let's go back to my source monitor up here. And I've got a um, audio track in my file bin called Breathe Master. I'm going to drag that one over and drop it into my source monitor. So you basically can do the same thing. We can set an in and an out point. You can listen to how it sounds, set your in and out points, and then drag it down. But of course this time you'll want to set it onto one of your audio tracks. We can see that's so much longer than my video. So I'm just going to shorten that and make it the same size as my video. And if I drop that down a bit, you can see my waveform as well. If I want to change the audio in that, there's a little yellow line in here that I can move up and down. So now I've got a video. Uh, and I think I'm just about done with this. So now I'm ready to export my movie. Uh, and before I do that, I'm just going to make sure that A, this yellow line we can see around my timeline, that it is in fact around my timeline because it'll actually move to wherever you're clicking. I'm also going to make sure that this little um, sucker, I don't know what it is, whatever it is, is in line with the end of my movie. Because if it's longer, guess what? It's going to make all of that just blackness at the end of your movie. It's going to be a bit longer than you intended. So make sure that is at the same point. And I'm also going to make sure I haven't left anything, any other clips or anything, way down here. But usually, you'll know if you did because that will be longer than you intend. I'm going to go up to File, down to Export, and I'm going to go into Adobe Media Encoder. Now, why am I going there? Because if I just go up here to Movie, uh, Premiere Pro is just going to export an a AVI file for me. Um, and while that's very, very good quality, um, we generally don't submit assignments in AVI. We generally do them in WMV. So Adobe Media Encoder just lets you pick all of those settings that you want. Here's your encoder. Um, you can see your video in here. Here's your source. This is what your output will look like should you use these settings. So we've got format up here and we can see all the different types of format you can choose whether you want real media, whether you want um, an MP4, all different types of formats. We want Windows Media for most of the stuff um, in the SJC. We want the entire sequence. Our preset it's generally always PAL widescreen source to download. Why? Because we use a PAL format in Australia. And widescreen is the format we've been wo working in. <coughs> and 1024 is the highest quality we've got available here. So I want to make sure that's PAL widescreen source to download. And that is generally all you need to worry about. We can see our estimated file size down here, 3.98 megabytes. And we can compare our source and our output files and check the quality. Slight decrease in quality between the source and the output. That is because we're working in a high quality and we're going down to a slightly lower quality in Windows Media. Alright, so if you're ready to export, you simply hit OK. It will then ask you uh, where you would like to save it to. And I'm going to again find my external drive. I'm going to also create a new folder and call it Output. That's a really good way to keep track of all the exported movies you do. And maybe I'll call that Step Assignment 1 and save. And now it will render. Um, and this can take a very long time depending on how long your movie is. And I'm probably going to just speed this up for the sake of the video tutorial. So now if I have a look 
in my folder that I've been saving to, output, and that is it. Of course, that is a very, very, very basic version of uh, an introduction to Premiere Pro course, and I recommend that if you'd like to know more, you sign up to a Maps Hour session because there's really no substitute for it, and you learn a heck of a lot more. So, thank you, um, and have a good day. So, that was a very basic introduction to Premiere Pro. Uh, tutorial. If you'd like to know more, please do come along to an SJC Maps Owl session because we do do it bigger. So we can see that was a very basic introduction to Premiere Pro CS3. If you'd like to know more, please do come along to a Maps Owl session and do use your Adobe Help um, up here, Help menu, Adobe Premiere Pro Help. They're very, very good and very, very helpful. Um, thanks. Have a good day.